we look at a little of everything. Obviously, your basketball skills, your athletic ability, being able to run, jump, uh, play good defense. And in addition to that, it's how, how a young man fits into the chemistry of the team. Whether they're good, the good characters in the school building here, they make good grades, stuff like that. We look at look at just about everything. If if you've been around the team for a while, you know that most of the decision process of tryouts doesn't actually happen during tryouts. It happens before tryouts, um, and that's how it should be. What do tryouts mean for you? Uh, for me, it's more just like being able to bring leadership to tryouts and um, you know let the people that are trying out know like how the tryouts usually work, how much effort we always put in, we're always going hard, going 100%, trying to make everyone better. And so for me, it's more just of a leadership aspect and uh, showing others like, you know, this is, if you want to make the team, this is what you need to do. To be a leader and help others that need help and show them like what not to do and what to do and to get them on the team, and, you know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I definitely enjoy it. It's um, it's a lot of fun for me. Just I love I love leading, helping others. Um, that's always been something I enjoy. So definitely helping out others. Who did that for you? Think back to like when you were a freshman trying out for varsity the first time. Was there a particular player that, that really kind of like helped you through trials? Kennedy Brown. Yeah, he was a point guard last year and the year before that and the year before that. But um, yeah, he helped me get through it. Yeah. Corey Lesher, without a doubt, um, he was really the uh, one of the biggest leaders on the team. He was always going hard, doing his best, and really brought out the best in everybody. Uh, usually towards the end of practice, uh, I bring them up one to one, and I talk to all the players whether they make it or not, or they're going to go down to JV or whatever the situation, and, and just be honest and uh, thank them for trying out, and tell them where they stand, and wish them the best. They're, you know, in my mind, they're, they're always Patriot basketball players, whether they make the team or not for trying out. So uh, the way that he lets us know is we come over to the A in the middle of the court and he says, you know, thanks for trying out. Uh, we have a lot of great talent on this team and can't keep everybody, so think about like those kids who, who don't make the team. If you were if it was your job to have to sit down with them and tell them like sorry, you didn't make the team, like what advice would you give them? Work, work even harder to come back next year and try it again and hope for better results. Um, well, definitely like keep working hard. Like if it's something you really like, then just keep doing it, working hard, and hard work will pay off. Um, they can always ask for advice from Coach Maynard or any of the um, other players on the team on what they think they can get better at and um, how to go about that. We'll always um, be the most help we can. You know, life's not always full of successes. Sometimes you have to fail to improve yourself, and hopefully they'll take something and, and work hard, and the next time they try out for something, a, a sport or a job interview or whatever, they'll be really confident and, and do a little better job. I, like I've said, I, I've told a lot of people this. Um, eventually, my height and my skill would catch up to me. So I, I knew it wasn't going to last forever, and apparently yesterday was the day that it, it ended, but that's cool. Um, Try something new. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet.